Did you know that you can send Power BI email alerts to anyone by using Power Automate? Let's go find out how in just four steps. If you're in Power BI Desktop, then publish your reports to Power BI Service, as that's where we will create our dashboard in step two. Or if you want, you can also access your report from powerbi.com and go to my workspace and navigate your report, which in this example is practice example one. Now that we're in Power BI Service, we need to create our dashboard. It's important to note that dashboards can only be created in Power BI Service and not in the desktop app. And alerts can only be created from cards, KPIs, and gauges, so only visuals that have single values. We also need to ensure that we have our latest time period selected so that we're always sending out alerts that are based on the most current time period. So in this case, we want to send alerts based on the 2023 year, so let's select that from our filter. Let's select our sales card visual and let's click on the pin visual icon. In this dialog box, we need to select where we would like to pin our visual, either in an existing dashboard or a new one. Let's select a new one and let's call our dashboard sales dashboard and click pin. This pop-up comes up so let's go to the dashboard. If you miss the pop-up, you can also click on my workspace on the left here, and here is our sales dashboard, so let's click that. We're now in our sales dashboard, and we have our sales tile. We can click on it and drag it around if we want. If you click on the tile, it takes you back to your report. Let's click on our sales dashboard on the left here, and let's click on the three ellipses of our tile and go to Manage Alerts. This Manage Alerts pane pops up. Let's add Alert Rule. Let's call this alert Sales Alert, and the Alert Rule is set for sales value by default. We want the condition to be above, and for the purposes of this video, let's select 2 million, so we should receive an alert once the flow is set up as our sales value is already above the 2 million threshold. And let's set our notification frequency to every 24 hours. By default, we will receive notifications in Power BI service in the notification center. You can also send an email to yourself, but let's not select that here. We will do this in Power Automate. Down here, it says use Microsoft Power Automate to trigger additional actions. That's what we want. But before we select this link, it's important to first click save and close so that the sales alert shows up in Power Automate. Now let's go back to manage alerts and we can see our sales value alert that we just created. Let's click on the Power Automate link and we're taken to Power Automate. You may need to sign in and also ensure that you're still logged into Power BI. Power Automate has already given us the template to trigger a flow with a Power BI data-driven alert. So let's click Continue. And here is where we will create our flow. The first step in any flow will always be the trigger. So this will initiate our flow. Our trigger is automated as the alert will be sent when our sales value meets the condition we set. For the alert ID, Let's select the drop down, and the alert we want is our sales alert. This is the alert name that we gave our alert in Power BI under Manage Alerts. Next, let's click on New Step. In the search bar, let's type Outlook, and the action that we want is to send an email. So let's select that. Let's send this email to the admin and to myself. For the subject, let's type Sales Target Met. For the body of the mail, let's say, Dear all, celebrations are in order as we just met our sales target. Our actual sales made currently stands at, and here is where we can add our dynamic content. We can use the alert title or the tile URL, which is the link to the dashboard tile. We want the tile value, so let's click on See More and select Tile Value. Now we have our flow set up. Before we save this, let's rename this flow to Sales Target Met Flow and let's save. 
The flow checker will let you know if there are any problems with your flow. At the top, it says that our flow is ready to go and that we should test it. So let's test it. Let's select automatically with a recently used trigger and let's check this trigger and select test and it shows our flow is running and that it was successful. It took two seconds to run and here's the notification for our flow so let's check this out. And let's check my email account and I've received the alert and the admin account also received the alert. There's one more thing I'd like to do to this alert and that's to format the sales value. Let's go back to our flow. If you closed Power Automate, you can go back to it by typing powerautomate.com in your browser and on the left here, click on My Flows and here is our sales target met flow. So let's click on Edit. Before our email is sent, we need to format our sales value. So let's click on this plus here before the send email action so we can insert a new step and let's select add an action. Let's search for format and here it is, format number. So let's select that. For number, we need our tile value. So let's select see more and select tile value. And these are the options that we have under format. I want the dollar format but not the decimals. So let's select enter custom value and type the dollar sign and the hash sign. This is exactly how you would enter custom values in Excel. And for our send an email step, let's remove tile value and we now have a new number in our dynamic content, which is the formatted number. So let's select that. Now let's test our flow. Let's select automatically with a recently used trigger. Let's select this last option and click save and test. And it shows that our flow ran successfully. It took one second and here is our email. And our sales value has been nicely formatted with our currency. Now, if you would like to learn how to effortlessly create a fiscal year calendar in Power BI, then I highly recommend you watch this video here.